the Malta St. Lucia uh, premium gold mixed with the purple. So depending on how you make it, it could come out more brownish or it could come out purple. I'm about to make a batch in a second. That I have some of these available uh, for wholesale to help you all out. So that post to be coming soon. Reach out. But yeah, this is grade A right here. Grade A. Grade A, I'm telling you. So this has been soaking for about 12 hours. Next step is to drain it. I already washed it. Just rehydrate it. You still want to rinse that off. So you can use... Uh, like here I can use this purified water to do that or uh, you can use your spring water or distilled water uh, to do that so we'll go rinse this off and we're about to weigh it to see how much it expanded to and this is two ounces of the multi all right so we got that in there weighing up make sure you hit that function there to remove the weight of the bowl when we did that and added it back we read it a little over a pound yeah, let's go to the unit. So, you know, once you add water to this, it's going to even expand even more. So, like I said, this is where we sell this in. Normally, you would just do a one ounce, and that should hold you over for the entire month once you add your water to it. Uh, but I'm just doing two today just to test it, just to see how far it'll go. All right. So, next step is to blend at this moment. And when we blend, uh, you kind of want to add two parts more water than you do the actual uh, sea moss itself. So I'll show you that in the next step. Probably going to use that whole thing of spring water, that's 16 ounces. We got it in there. We're going to squirt our lime in here. This acts as our natural preservative. Has natural citric acid. Start it up and see how it blends and what color it comes out. about 16 ounces a little bit more um, I'm gonna add the other to it as well so that should push it up even more because what I want to show you is the equivalent to you doing it yourself versus if you want to buy it so you know so you can have those cost benefits and you see this blender right here um, sometimes I use this one sometimes I use the one with the blade at the bottom the blade at the bottom can uh, and I think I got one you see how you have the little choppy stuff in there sometimes when you have that in there with the blender sometimes it doesn't as fine get it as fine you see what i'm saying so i'm gonna try another blade or probably i'll just stick with this one and just let it go some more so just kind of giving you some game on when you're blending so don't freak out even if you got those particles it'll still you know it'll still gel up as well so let's add some more so this is what I was talking about. Something like this where the blade is at the bottom versus that kind. This gets it a little more fine. And you can still see the little particles in there. But it's still all good. All right. All right. We added the rest. So let's give it a whirl. 
I didn't add any more water either because I want to test something. you can add more water if you want more gel you always you can add more water so you can see that right there it's still thick you got a few particles in there so it's really kind of like it does take on that purple the purple purple hue but you can tell it has that that gold in there because it's kind of a light purple so it'll still gel up you know so don't worry about that so you know if we're trying to get up here to the to the 32 guess what i need that much water so we're gonna start it one more time and see what we yield <laughs> 